Today's really a perfect day to experience almond pollination. It, it just doesn't get any better. There's not much of a breeze, about 70 degrees. You can hear the buzz in the orchard of the bees and you can smell the nectar. It looks like something you'd see in a museum in a painting. Honeybees are an essential part of the pollination required to produce food in California. Even though it's a beautiful day and it seems all is well, this timeless picture of natural harmony is now in peril. America's honeybees are dying in record numbers. About 2005, the industry experienced a near collapse, and it was mysterious, and we didn't understand it. That was the beginning, and unfortunately, I hoped it was going to be a one or a two or a three year phenomenon, and it stretched from that time until the current time. We're still having those unexplained, very serious losses. Dr. Eric Musson of the University of California is one of the world's leading experts on honeybee health and the phenomenon known as colony collapse disorder. About 25% of the beekeepers of both California and the United States are suffering these significant losses of honeybee populations that we can't explain. Some of the significant reasons that we think these bees are having difficulty, one is malnutrition. Uh, the forage plants are out there like they used to be, so the bees need a mix of pollen and they're not really getting it, so they can't be at their most robust health. And then the second thing is we got that parasitic mite called Varroa that came in and we're having a terrible time trying to control that and it's hard on the bees and it transmits virus diseases to the bees as well as just parasitizing them. So now we have a disease problem as well. But when you put a chemical in there to try to knock the mite level down, there's no chemical that doesn't have its negative side effects on the honeybees. Pesticides have also come under scrutiny, leading to a temporary ban on some chemicals in Europe. But as Dr. Musson explains, it has proved impossible to identify a specific culprit. We've got phenomenon out there going on now that we don't understand where we're a mix of three different materials, uh, useful in pest control, but individually known to not be a problem to honeybees. When the mix is used, we're really having a problem with the honeybees afterwards. It's a beautiful day out here in the orchard. Christy Heinz is executive director of Project Apis M, a nonprofit organization devoted to funding research into honeybee health. Because of our specialty crop grant funding from CDFA, we do have funds available to uh, purchase seeds and do demonstration forage plots for honeybees to help us figure out which plants are best uh, to complement our crop plants in terms of providing diverse nutrition for honeybees. Many experts agree that forage restoration may turn out to be key in maintaining the health of migratory bee colonies. While researchers continue to look for answers, California's farmers remain optimistic that honeybees will continue their essential work for many generations to come. We're truly in a very fortunate industry being almond growers. And the honeybees is a concern, but we're getting better at managing our honeybees. But I'm confident that we'll have sufficient honeybees to continue to pollinate our almond crops.